Well, hello guys. Uh, it's your boy Matsume, and today we are here playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Since, <laughs> and um, I'm not gonna be scared because when I launched up the game, uh, this happened. But this is some creepy ass shit right now, and I'm completely alone in my house. And this is not a good time to be playing this fuck shit. But uh, yeah, it says warning. This game contains loud noises, flashing lights, and maybe a few jam scares too. And you know, lots of fun. You know, lots and lots of them. It's getting faster now. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty fun. Yeah. So if you guys didn't get the message, we're going to have fun today. Oh, look at those frames. Ooh. Press enter. I'm gonna start a new game. I played the first night. Uh, that's what I did. Oh, this game's so loud. Yeah, I'm sure. New game. I only played the first night to, you know, figure out what I'm supposed to be doing It's a here. new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. In some cases. What are we talking <laughs> about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. Mm. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as Atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, that's a for cool bear. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't can reduce casualties. And that brings us. <laughs> There's still gonna be liability. casualties, you know, just less Being of them. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Something of might course, be hiding inside. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. <laughs> what? This includes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Legally Remember, obligated. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride, and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Hmm. That's nice. How to a two-step guide to restaurant management. Use catalog mode to purchase items, animatronics, and other supplies. Why the fuck would I ever purchase an animatronics? Like, I've played all the other five games, man. Like, there's a pattern here. Use blueprint mode to place items, upgrade items, and upgrade your floor pan. I'm ready! I'm fucking, I'm not ready. Day one, boys! Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Yay. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Okay. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Oh, okay. 
You must buy the cheapest things, you know. You got some. Nah, nah, fuck that. No, no, no. We're not gonna be cheap. We're gonna get fun things. Like this balloon. And this discount ball pit. Because we know them children, they they do like them discount ball pits. Now let's go to blueprint mode. Oh. Alright. Take one. Yeah. Ball pit. Yeah. Alright. Finish. I think this is... Your restaurant is now officially open. Oh. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once okay. you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Okay. Now, on to other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system oh. and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. Okay. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. I don't like that most likely. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Oh, okay. Um, I guess let's just do our task. That's what I did the first night. Let's order some cups. Yep, ordering some cups. Yeah, I don't like that sound. That brings me PTSD, man. I don't... F oh! Uh, lately, my leg has been doing this thing where I get, like, a sharp pain, my dude. And it sucks. It's been doing it since yesterday. I think I'm dying. Oh, man. But, yeah, we just gotta finish. Everything, like, with a, that's a, a danger sign. It's, like, something we have undone. Like, oh, that's not... Oh, that's not good. Oh, God. Uh, play audio over there. Yes. Okay, let's just keep doing our tasks. Yeah, let's just be a good little worker and finish doing what we're supposed to be doing. Ordering napkins. Play music over there. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of kids over there. If there's anything trying to kill me, go towards the music. Yep. All I gotta do is order some utensils. Yep. Totally. Yeah, yeah, and you cannot look away from the screen if you are like doing a task. Oh, it's gonna have to stop. And if there's motion, there's gonna be like a danger sign, but I don't see any motion. So I'm just gonna look very quickly. Yep. Everything seems to be completely fine. Yep. Just keep playing music over there. I'm gonna go back and we're ordering some pizza kits, man. 100% doable yup this is okay motion da, da, da. Uh, we seems to be no motion just fucking uh, play some audio over there yeah nothing there yep nothing there go back let's print some flyers yep print some flyers <laughs> nothing dangerous about printing flyers this should attract nothing this is okay. This is fine. Nothing bad should happen. Yep, okay. Keep playing music over there. Yep, that's all I want in my life right now. Just continuous music directly on the other side of the map. That's what I want. Now let's print some posters. This is completely fine. Now tell me why I have these drawings in my office. 
decks. Did I draw them? Because if I did, let me tell you something. I'm not a very good drawer. And I'm, there's something really seriously wrong with me. Because I'm drawing fucking Pennywise on the right side of me. And all this bullshit. Okay. No motion. I got all that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're fine. Play that over there. Print some menus too. Yeah! Look at us being productive. We're earning that paycheck, baby. Yeah! Oh god. There's just so much ambient noise that it's fucking spooky. There's just so much weird, like, noises everywhere. Motion. I see no motion. Play music over there. Maintenance. One thing that I noticed, you can unclog your toilets from a computer? Like, how into the future are we? Like, what do you... Uh, oh, like, what, what exactly is happening right now? Like, what's unclogging the toilet? Like, what kind of system is this restaurant running? Like, that seems pretty advanced, but yet we are in, like, a fucking two-inch long room with two open vents besides us, like, if we can clean the ovens from the safety of our computer, why do I even have to be in the restaurant while I'm doing this? Like, if I could do this from a computer, why would I have to be in the restaurant? Like, that's something that doesn't make sense to me. But we only have, we only have to replace the bulbs and then we can log off, man. And that's day one, or what, I don't even know how much days these Dude, this game has like I don't even naturally you know man I'm not looking forward to that first uh, log off yes log off great okay. job it looks like you're getting the hang of this now let's just focus on getting you through your first week there's a big party here Saturday and you should view that day as your ultimate test make it through Saturday and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be okay cool Okay, so yeah, I don't know how this game works in terms of. Congratulations uh, on completing oh your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end of oh, routine, fuck. and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Why is there an alley? Are found here quite often. Oh god! And while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts. Which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this what? line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside. But then, you get no money for the salvage. Oh. You choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences. Namely, death. Certain negative the consequences. Question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. What? Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. What maintenance? Look at that thing. Throw it back into the alley. Proceed with salvage. Oh, what maintenance value? Like, that thing is gone. We can't use that. Just take it for parts. Like, that. Uh, why, why is this fucking inspection, like, here, like, in this dark room with a wooden table, like, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, we're gonna proceed with salvage. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company-issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable oh, or aggressive. Fuck. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic. And decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. 
Oh, Jesus! Oh, no, God. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three. Oh, Jesus! You better get the, you better back the fuck up! Oh, God, no. You back the fuck up. I'ma taste the fuck out of you. I don't give a fuck about this three time limit. Nah, B. You better chill. Two, one. Oh god. Oh god. Document results. And then do nothing. Begin audio oh. prompt in three, two, one. Oh Jesus. This is not good. Document results. It didn't do shit. Oh. Audio prompt in three. Oh. One. I don't know. Where's the limit? I don't know how far he has to get. Like it document to me. results. Bitch, I don't know. I'm not gonna risk it. Just get shocked, okay? I don't know how close he can get to me before it's dangerous. I, I don't know, and I'm not willing to experiment. Play the shit. Oh god. Oh god, no. Okay, please, please. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. What the fuck am I even listening to right now? Oh my god! This is circus music. Okay, I can do some, some circus music. Uh, okay, I've heard enough. God damn, how long is this? Oh, Jesus. It's like I'm hearing the screams of the damn document results. Nigga, you have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Well done. End tape. Oh, my Jesus fucking Christ. What the? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, this is not okay. I have zero lawsuits? Fuck yeah, man! Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm dying inside! Oh! Purchasing a bulky item in this condition comes with a slight risk of something undesirable hiding inside. It went from a hundred dollars to thirty-three dollars. Oh, dude, no. Get a stage, my nigga. Be normal. Get a second stage, my nigga. Stance budget. Oh shit, dog. Nigga, we got fruity mace. Oh shit, dude. That all looks fun and dandy, but I'm not really trying to do that right now. I... Oh shit, dude. Oh. I didn't buy anything. Finished. Oh, dude, no. I want to upgrade my material. Like, I want to update my printers and shit. That's why I didn't buy anything. Oh, babe, no, dude. Oh, this is not okay. The second night, bro, something is gonna happen today. Let's upgrade something. Let's uplink or printer. Let's get printer. Alright. Motion detector. Oh, Jesus! See, now we already have motion. Hey, you go over there! You. Let's just order some cups, alright? Your boy needs some cups. Okay? I don't need nothing jumping out. Oh god, did I hear something in the fence? Oh god. Oh no, dude. Oh no. Play that music over there. And let's just go back and order some plates. Absolutely normal job. Alright? No dangers whatsoever. No! Oh shit! Oh my god! 
What the fuck? I knew I heard something in them bitch ass vents. Oh my, fuck this. Oh, these frames. Oh, fuck, dude. I knew I heard something in the bed, but I checked the motion and I looked and there was nothing there. Oh, what the fuck was I supposed to do there? Oh, no, boys, no, no, no. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what, what was I supposed to do? I don't, you know what? This is it, alright? This is, this is all I'm gonna do today. Alright, this, that, that, this is all for this video. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. I looked. There was nothing there. I thought I heard something, yeah? But, but there was, there was nothing there. And I checked the motion detector and I, I fucking uh, played the music. I did everything I could. Tell me down in the comments below if, if I, what I did wrong and what I'm supposed to do because I literally have seen absolutely no gameplay of this video game I'm, I'm new like I don't know what the fuck is going on and I'm getting fucked out of here so I hope you guys enjoy my fucking suffering and uh, see you guys later bye bye